Hello dear friends, welcome to another day in the life vlog. We have a few things to catch up on, but first things first, priorities. My lavender coffee. I love this lavender syrup. You guys remember I've raved about this, I think last summer. I always make sure to treat myself with this syrup and uh, a few splashes of the oat milk in my morning coffee or my morning tea because you guys know I have been enjoying my London fog but today we are doing coffee to get me energized to get me awake and to get going because we have a few things to share and to go over we're going to go to the bookstore we're going to go to the Dollar Tree and we're going to get some crafts out of the way now here I am using my moleskin to plan out um, a DIY project. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my Dollar Tree pen that I've been raving about on Instagram. Pick it up if you guys see it at your Dollar Tree. I'll show more later in this clip, but I am going over some ideas that I have for my Traveler's Notebook DIY project. Have you guys seen the video? If not, check out the previous video to this one because there I go in depth on how you can make your own Midori style traveler's leather notebook. So here I'm just brainstorming some things that I want to include within my traveler's notebook system, including setup, design ideas, inserts I'm going to need, how I'm going to use the inserts, how I want to, um, you know, set up the cover with my elastics and so forth and so forth. So this is another great idea if you don't know what to journal about or you don't know what to use your notebooks for, have it capture your project ideas, crafts, projects, visions, your goals. Um, they quickly add up and it's just nice to look back at. So the leather, this is the one that I picked up at Michael's. It's very, very comparable to the Midori Travelers brand. So if you want to know how to make your own Travelers notebook that's similar to the Midori Travelers company, check out the video prior to this. Now, you guys know my favorite breakfast as of lately. This is the croissant waffle that um, I'm so happy that a lot of you guys enjoy this recipe too. It's so easy, right? <laughs> A lot of you guys have messaged me on Instagram saying that you enjoyed it, your kids enjoyed it, your spouse enjoyed it. So I enjoy it as well and that's why I'm having it again. Every time I make this, my husband always asks me to make him one as well. So luckily this makes uh, two large waffles and I cut this into eight pieces because you are going to use four of those pieces shown right here cut up and you're going to put them in the corners of your waffle maker right here make sure they are touching each other and we are going to combine them into the four corners pressing down on your waffle make on your waffle maker make sure you push all the way down and you have to kind of clamp it clamp it down because you know the dough is thick but after about like a minute and 30 seconds depending on your waffle maker and your setting it should turn out golden brown like this now I'm gonna get my little protein in add my over medium egg that I have seasoned with some Trader Joe um, seasoning and put on a few YouTube videos this is the time especially on the weekends where I go through some videos that I may have overlooked or missed during the week and today instead of my syrup I'm enjoying this delicious uh, fruit jelly or or jam putting it on the waffle it was so delicious and catching up on some videos typically I read on my Kindle during the week but I'm treating myself this weekend so or on the weekends that's when I catch up on my um, YouTube videos so after this we are going to um, oh yeah I had to season some dinner this is some ribeye. If you guys want this recipe, it's really, really easy. Just get six tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of sesame oil, um, some pepper, five tablespoons of crushed garlic, and a few jalapenos. Marinate it for at least two hours and 
um, oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. You can put it on the grill like we do and put it over some white rice. Your family's going to love it. Now, let's go head out to where else? The bookstore. It's a beautiful day. Wanted to get out, run some errands. And after the bookstore, I wanted to also stop by the Dollar Tree to get a few things that I'm going to show you. So if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, you may want to keep an eye out for um, some things. Here, look at this beautiful land, well, the scenery. Can you see the temple? Here in St. George, we have this beautiful temple like in our downtown area and you can spot it from where I was driving. I just love the scenery here in St. George, Southern Utah. We are surrounded by these beautiful red rocks and I'm just grateful for the scenery every day. So here, the frequent stop. Okay, Queen of Shadows, I'm picking this up. <laughs> My girl, Sarah J. Mass, she's getting another try. My friend was urging me to, to give it a try, so here we are. Brandon Sanders, too, um, he's been put on my radar, so I'm going to give his books a try since I do like fantasy. And I had to make a pit stop by the notebook stationery section. Yeah, I picked this up, too, because it has books on the cover, so I just had to get it. I was tempted by this one, this beautiful moon and sun design, especially on the edges. That was gorgeous. It really caught my eye, but... I put it back because I couldn't think right away like what would I use this for but it, it was nice to look at if you have um this section in your Barnes & Noble look I don't know if your location is the same but my Barnes & Noble bookstore they were giving away these little freebies like a little free bookmark for promotion and then they had like a little is that like a temporary tattoo? I thought it was a sticker, but I think it's like a temporary tattoo. A little postcard and a poster. So I got those, picked them up from my desk. And then, um, yeah, this is the book that I picked up, Miss Born, because one of my friends recommended this. Ninth House, I added this to my list. And then The Shadow of the Gods, I added this to a later to-be-read list as well. All right, here we are, my Dollar Tree stocking up on some sarasa you guys i hope your dollar tree has these zebra sarasa gel pens they are so good i love using these and um, if you like a nice bold gel i think you'll enjoy these and then this here i like this notebook because it is blank the pages inside are kind of like a cream color similar to the moleskin and it is blank no lines no dot no grid so shout out and thanks to one of my viewers in my previous video that shared this with me and I would have never thought to flip through these um, had she not pointed this out so thank you for the tip girl I got these notebooks stocked up and I would say these are more like a what is it like b6 kind of size so yeah my new sketchbooks that I added and then here are some books that I ended up getting. Can you believe I've never read Pride and Prejudice? I've seen the movie a long time ago. Um, a long time ago, like when I was young. And I just, ugh, I just could not get into it. It was so boring to me. But my friends were like, what? You need to read it. So I got it. The picture of Dorian Gray. Never read this as well. So pick this up it's going to be a really quick read for me and um another friend recommended this as well so it's a classic I definitely need to read that and this is a very popular Brandon Sanderson book Mistborn for those that are just getting into his fantasy world um everyone recommends this book first or at least that's what my friend suggested based off of my reading preference so I got this so I'm gonna be busy these next few weeks starting on these um, books okay so you remember when I had asked if you guys wanted to do some type of like book club or read together in April I think I found the book for us you guys this series has a hold on me the spark of the ever flame this series is my new favorite I love it I think you'll love it, especially if you're like me and you really enjoyed the Akatar series, or 
even if you haven't read A Court of uh, Thorns and Roses, maybe you enjoyed Fourth Wing. I think you'll like this as well. It's a romanticy series. Um, there's three books right now. So you have The Spark of the Everflame, Glow of the Everflame, and then the third book is The Heat of the Everflame. There's a fourth book coming out in June, but this series, you guys, I finished book one and two in a week. So if you need something to read this month in April, let's read this series together. You know, I still have to read the third book. So yes, I highly, highly, highly recommend Spark of the Everflame. It's such a great like original story. The writing is really good. The romance is good. The whole magical setting, the characters. Um, this is, I can't hype it up enough. It's, it's just, I feel like the author is really good at keeping you wanting more. I could not put this book down. It didn't feel rushed. It didn't feel dragged out. It was just so perfect. It had a good plot line, layered plots, good journeys, and um, yeah, look into it. So if you are wondering what that book series is about, it's just basically a girl, a human girl living in her human village surrounded by like nine other magical realms and one day her mom goes missing and the story just goes from there. She needs to find out like what happened to her mom and the rest you need to just find out. So it's so, 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 so good. <laughs> now here in my journal, okay, speaking of books, a lot of you guys have, you know, wondered and asked me throughout time what is it that I journal about that has my notebooks looking so thick so chunky and full of life so speaking of books if you enjoy reading like I do that is a great way to fill up your pages write about your favorite books write about um, how you feel about the the story the plot the characters maybe there's you know, some quotes that you just want to capture and sit with. So those are some things I have been journaling about as of lately, just books that I've been enjoying. Um, I've been journaling about books so much that I really think I need to keep a separate book journal. For my journal friends, do you guys have a separate book journal? Um, I know we like to com compartmentalize our lives, like we have a, a separate notebook for our planners. We have a separate notebook maybe for um, like projects and ideas. I feel like I need a separate journal for books, but then I feel like my books are a part of my life and I want it all together in like a, a in my life journal. So I don't know. I'm so torn. I'm so, I'm so torn. I do have another, um, Hmm. See, you can see like right here in this notebook, like I'm thinking this is where I just capture like my ideas. I just throw out like my brain dumps. Um, and these are just easy ways to fill up your pages. <laughs> Notes to self, things that you're thinking about, maybe um, projects that you want to work through. You know, just catch it all down. It doesn't have to look pretty. It doesn't have to be perfect. These pages are definitely not aesthetically, you know, pleasing. And it's just whatever comes to mind, I want to capture it before it slips my memory forever. And that's just a great way to use your journal, just for your eyes only, for you to mentally like help get through your obstacles, to help maybe even like get your memory and your creativity flowing. This is where I write down ideas for like my zines, for my art projects. So really the possibilities are endless. But this pen, you guys, I've been really enjoying this Dollar Tree pen with my moleskin. It is right here, you can see the gel ink. This is a gel ink, not a ballpoint. And I'm so glad I came across this at my Dollar Tree. I'll show you in a bit, but look, see, there's no bleed through and it's this one here. The Magna by Journal Ink. Look for it at your Dollar Tree. It's this black barrel with the rose gold. This one was really hard to find. It was kind of hidden behind other pens and not every location has this. So each Dollar Tree is unique, is different. They may not carry it. You might have to drive around, but I highly recommend this pen along with that book. So here we have the evening wind down. I do enjoy a nice, calming, reflective journaling session at the end of my day. 
just on my bed and this week I've really strongly been considering starting a whole new notebook to track I wouldn't say it's going to be like a habit tracker but to track you know like my books and um some new hobbies I've picked up I also want like a nice monthly overview of just personal things I want to capture and highlight weekly recaps I want to fill in and log and then maybe just daily um in-depth you know thoughts and personal just writings so let me know what you guys have been writing about lately and do you guys have a reading do you guys think I should start a separate reading journal maybe do you have experience with that I don't know because I'm thinking in my new notebook that I'm going to start because this is more I realize it's like a project notebook as I've been flipping through the pages all of these pages they're not really like personal personal um as far as like personal life writings they're just like personal like projects and ideas and crafts and art stuff but I want a, a separate notebook where it's like my life journal where I'm writing about like my life what I what I did throughout the day what I read um you know what I'm thankful for just things like that so I'm trying to decide if I want to incorporate books I read because I, I feel like books become us right I don't know what do you think